I remember there was a time that I used to start each and every workout with about 10 minutes of learning a new skill or refining a new skill, like the frog stand, which eventually was moved on to, to being a handstand, and the shoulder stand on rings, and presses to handstand, transitions like kicks on rings. It was very exciting. Uh, it was a place for me to be creative with my body, having this freedom of move, movement, manipulating your body in space, not only in the linear fashion of being able to perform the back lever, the ring muscle up, the pledge, but you know, experimenting with your body, I think it was just pure fun. And today we will learn about ring routines, which is exactly uh, why, why I think you should add them. So, ring routines are five skills minimum performed sequentially, one after another, on the rings without stepping your foot on the ground in between. Each ring routine must have a push skill, a pull skill, a transition, like a muscle up or a keep, a press to handstand and a handstand uh, variation. You should not necessarily hold the freestanding straight body ring handstand, but you can start with a tuck shoulder stand. Just like with the push exercise, cho choose the progressions, the exercise that suits your level. Perform each skill for a minimum of one repetition or five seconds if it's an isometric hold, but you can perform that for more than that. You can perform each and every skill for three repetitions. So that's the ring routine. And the uh, ring routines usually take about 40 seconds up to 80 seconds. Okay? What are the rings, ring routines for? Ring routines are first, like uh, I said in the introduction, fun creativity. Uh, other than practicing the, the strength pieces, the planche, the back, back level, the front level, the ring muscle up, whatever, it's being creative with your body. Uh, you know, you can throw each ring routine, you can throw uh, an exercise that you haven't done in a while, that you want to refine. And you can do a, a, another exercise just to experiment. That's something that you haven't tried yet. So, fun creativity. And uh, also it can be a uh, trend for a uh, hypertrophy stimulus because ring routines provide you with a lot of time under tension. 40 to 80 seconds, that's a lot of time being on the rings and you know that in calisthenics the whole body really works simultaneously at the same time. You cannot really isolate. So when you're doing dips and afterwards you're performing shoulder stand, the, the pecs, the legs, the, the shoulders, they are all under a lot of time under tension. You can train the ring routines for strength endurance. So it is not only your ability to perform the, the top planche position precisely, it is also your ability to do that under fatigue and performing that one after another. So having strength endurance, not being lazy. So that that's what uh, ring routines are for. When should you start incorporating ring routines into your workouts? You should practice them once you have five ring muscle ups comfortably. If you don't have five ring muscle ups, your ring muscle up practice is your ring routine. It has a pull, it has a transition, it has a push. Practice the ring muscle up until you have them with your eyes closed during the night for five repetitions. When should you really uh, practice them? You should incorporate ring routines into your workout. After the strength work, for two to three sets, be before the accessories or hypertrophy work, if you have any. Each ring routine, you will perform the same routine for the remainder of sets, but between workouts, you should never repeat ring routines twice. Always vary the ring routine. So within the workout from set to set, try to refine it. Try to think about what can you improve. But next time you, uh, uh, that you work out, change the routine, mix it up. Let me demonstrate one ring routine. I, I, I'm not warmed up, but we'll do one. Let's start with the keep. The keep will be the transition 
Then I will perform any sit on rings for five seconds. That will be the push. And then I will do a straight body bent arm press to shoulder stand. So that's the press to handstand and the handstand uh, progression. And then I will drop into front lever. That will be my pull. Okay? And I will do straddle front lever. So let's do it. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, not too bad. That's the ring routine, that's one example. But mix and match, find yours, that's ring routines, incorporate, incorporate them into your training. See you next time.